Place the weighing dish on the electronic balance. Tear the balance so that the weight of the dish can be eliminated. Make sure to take a note of the balance's uncertainty of measurement. Use a spatula to scoop the solute from the stock container. The solute is a substance to be dissolved in the solution. The solvent is the substance in which the solute is dissolved in. In this demonstration, the solute is sodium chloride and the solvent is water, neither of which require particular protective gear. When preparing any other solution, consult the relevant material safety data sheets and use appropriate protective equipment. When you get close to the desired mass, tap gently the side of the spatula for better control. Pour the solute in a 100 milliliter beaker. Use a wash bottle filled with distilled water to rinse the dish, making sure that you pour this wash solution into the beaker, ensuring that none of the solute is lost. Note that you should first dissolve the solute in a small amount of solvent in order to limit the uncertainties and losses associated with transferring undissolved material. Check the saturation concentration of your solute in order to add enough water so that its entirety gets into solution. The saturation concentration of sodium chloride at 20 degrees Celsius is 357 grams per liter of distilled water, therefore adding about 50 milliliters of distilled water to the 8.77 grams that we measured previously will suffice. Add a magnetic stirrer into the solution and mix until all the solute has been dissolved. Note that some magnetic stirrers also have a heating function which can be used to further speed up the process depending on the solute and solvent used. Start the rotor at minimum speed and increase it slowly to prevent the magnet from popping out of the beaker. Remove the magnetic stirrer using another stirrer in order to avoid introducing unnecessary objects in the solution. Rinse the stirrer with distilled water over the beaker to prevent losses. Place a funnel at the mouth of a 500 milliliter volumetric flask and pour in the mixture from the beaker. Rinse the beaker with a small volume of distilled water and pour it into the funnel again, thus transferring the washings to avoid losses. Repeat twice. A given mass of solute cannot simply be added to the desired volume of water, since the resulting volume would be greater than the target, and as a result, the final concentration would be lower. It is a solvent that will therefore be added inside a volumetric flask, up to the desired final volume. Fill a larger beaker with distilled water and slowly pour it into the volumetric flask. When you get close to the line on the neck of the volumetric flask, Use a teeth pipette for a more accurate dispensing. Pour until the bottom of the solution's meniscus reaches the line at eye level. Finally, place a stopper at the mouth of the volumetric flask and turn it up and down a few times to homogenize the standard solution. Apply smooth movements, avoiding shaking the flask, in order to avoid the formation of bubbles or foam.